Yo, what is up everybody? I wanna welcome you guys back to my YouTube channel, Tall Guy in a Hemi. If you can, please leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let's get into it. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, we got some more car parts, but unfortunately, the body shop has the car. They had it. I dropped it off uh, this past Sunday, actually. Um, so I don't, I'm not sure how long they're gonna have it. My guess is probably two to three weeks, which is okay. I'm able to make content without the car, and I also have some uh, some extra POVs. I got a funny one um, coming out this week. I'm a, a buddy actually driving my car. He's a Mustang owner. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that one. But I just wanna show you guys what we got for the car, um, what to expect moving forward and all that good stuff. So let's get right to it. All right, so we have four boxes here. I'm missing one box. I left it in the car. Um, it's a throttle, it's an i9 controller, like a little throttle controller thing. I'm gonna try that out. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna work with my setup, um, just the way my tuner, because my throttle response is already maxed out through the tune, I guess. Um, it might help a little bit, but we'll see. Um, I probably won't run it for too long. Um, I'll probably just end up giving it away to one of you guys, because I come across it with a great deal, and I just couldn't pass it up. All right, so yeah, I got these on Amazon. This is just like a little cheap cosmetic thing I wanted. Oops, sorry. It's a coolant tank cover, um, just something real cheap. I know, I think Billet makes one, it's like a full thing. Uh, I'm, look, I'm really looking into that one, but just for right now, I'm just something to kind of spice up the engine bed a little bit. And this one sits right where the washer fluid reservoir is to kind of cover up some of that uh, wiring for the 6.4 intake manifold um, from the MSD box. So I'm excited about this one, um, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on when I get the car back because I didn't want to put these on because the body shop's gonna be having to work in the engine bay because when I hit the deer, it um, it busted the washer fluid reservoir, and I had no washer fluid. So these right here are some adjustable uh, camber bushings. I came across a sick, sick deal on these. So um, it's the front and the back here. Um, here's the instructions, blah, blah, blah. But the main thing, these are the rear. It's what I'm going to be focusing on. So uh, I'm going to make an install video on this. These are supposed to help adjust uh, my camber. So you set them in there like this, and... It just kind of straightens the wheel out there a little bit, but yeah, these are these are pretty sweet. Come across an awesome deal. Um, couldn't pass them up. Before I got my new tires put on, my back right rear tire was like damn. It was damn near bald. The thread was showing. Um, it was it was just it was pretty sketchy. And um, yesterday when I was driving, or not yesterday, uh, Sunday I think it was. I was driving home on the interstate, and my my rear my car just kind of started sliding out from under me on the interstate. And I'm not sure what was wrong. It's obviously something with my suspension. And that's my main focus right now is just to get that fixed. Um, and then I got another big uh, plan coming for the car. It's going to be really, really sweet. So like I said, that's what this next stuff is. It's just a set of rear struts. Um, I got a Billistine. Um, I got them on a the website. I'll drop it in the link below. Um, it's K&N Speed Factory. That's where I get a lot of my Mopar parts from. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to make an install video on these. Um, I'm thinking about picking up another set of uh, lowering springs. I don't know if I want to go with the same ones or the Eibach. Um, I think it's Pro Kit. Here's the struts, what they look like. Super, super clean. Got a couple stickers here. So I'm pumped. And my struts were probably just worn out, from, uh, especially when I put the lowering springs on. Um, those lowering springs, they work. I mean, pretty much any lowering spring, it's safe with the OEM strut, but they always work better with aftermarket, like the Bill and Steens right here. Mine had like a hundred, almost a hundred thousand miles, um, I guess before, I mean, 97,000 miles uh, Sunday when I guess it blew out, um, but when I started having really bad issues with it. But uh, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure what went on right there, but I'm gonna get these installed here when I get the car back and make a video for that um, with the springs as well. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of installs moving forward on the channel. I gotta do the throttle controller. I gotta do the, um, air to fuel gauge i still haven't installed that yet i've just been so busy with work i gotta put the shocks on um excuse me not the shocks the struts on i gotta put some lowering springs on um i gotta do the engine bay stuff so definitely definitely stay tuned for that um there's a lot of installs coming up uh, a lot of good content i appreciate you guys stopping by and checking this video out if you can please leave a like comment share and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one peace out